this is the contract we had written for the banking industry and you will find all the function we have included into this banking system so we have our state variable we have our constructor we have this deposit function we have this withdrawal function we have this transfer function we have this get balance grant access revoke access and this is the self destruct function we have in the contract to destroy the contract so let's deploy that click on this and from here this is the only contract we have let's click on this deploy and here the transaction went through here we have the instant of the contract click on this here you will have all the instance okay if i want to check the balance of my account so i have to click here and simply come and paste here and make a call so the moment i will make a call i will see that i have zero ether into my account and if i want to deposit any fund into this account so i can do that very easily so to for depositing all i have to do is to select the amount which i want so a five and from here i will select this ether okay and from here i have to click on this deposit so the moment i will click on deposit the transaction went through and right now you can see that this contract has five ether because that's what amount we have deposited into this contract and if you come here click on this balance you will find the amount you have submitted into this contract and that way we have all of this function so if you want to allow access to anyone else so you can do that so come here so i'll go on here and i will select this account number two i'll save it and i want to provide an access so let's provide the access i will paste here and i'm going to say grant access and here you can see the transaction win fail because that's the logic we have included here in this function so only owner can allow any access to other user okay and that's the logic we have built if i come back here if i go to my first account and if i come here go to the second account and i have to copy this account and then i have to go back to the first account the owner and now if i call the transaction went through okay so click on this grant access the transaction went through and this time we have different owner okay so the owner is the second account and this is the transfer function we have in that we have to pass this data we have to pass the recipient and the amount so let's come here open that in that i'm going to transfer a couple of funds so click on this and i want to transfer funds to my third account so copy that come here and come back to the second account because i'm the owner the second account is the owner from here we have to pass the address here we have to pass the amount and you have to click on this transaction and you will find that the transaction is failed because right now this account the account number two is the owner and he hasn't updated he hasn't deposited any fund into the contract that's why it's insufficient balance that's the logic we are checking from here it's working fine so if i come here if i come here if i come to the account number one because that's the account has deposited the fund and if i make the transaction now so i have to pick another address so i'll come here i'll copy this address and i'll go back to the first one and now i can easily able to transfer the fund okay so not this one this is the one and i want to deposit because that's the amount i have deposit for the first account and if i click on this transaction you can see the transaction went through so if you copy that address and you can paste here you will find that that address has that account okay? so this is the account we transfer the fund and if i come here copy the address and if i come and paste the address here i can see that this is the fund we have five earlier this five was transferred by the account number one but now we have transfer but now account number one have transferred the fund to the account number three so we can easily able to see the balance in the account number three okay so everything is working fine from here the account can easily able to withdraw okay and this is the simple smart contract we have written for the banking industry okay so what we are doing we are keeping the track of the entire data then we have this deposit then we have this withdrawal function transfer get balance grant access revoke and destroy okay so this is a pretty simple contract we have built for the financial industry and you can add more complexity on this so i just want you to write down the functionality which can include into this contract and in case in future we definitely going to build we're going to utilize this same contract for building one of the dap okay so i just want you to write down the functionality from your end okay and this one is a really good practice if you really want to familiarize yourself for the smart contract development so we have focused backing industry you have seen that how we have structured the data how we are mapping the data and these are the very important things because in that way your concept will get cleared okay when you will write the smart contract for any industry whether you are writing for the banking industry or no matter what project you are working on you will get an idea okay this is how i have to structure the data so entire algorithm data modeling will become very clear to you when it's come to building the smart contract okay so hope this entire contract makes sense i want you to re-watch try to understand and try to add fun more functionality from your end this one is a very basic one i want you to add more functionality and write down all the functionality in the comment section so later when we will build the application we can utilize those functionality in the contract in our DAF. okay so with that i'm ending this video i believe that you guys have accessed the complete playlist because we're going to write close to 60 plus smart contract for different industry okay 
the only motive I have for building this entire playlist to give you a clear understanding that how you have to think when it's come to writing the smart contract okay so we're going to move to the complex topic as well but right now I just want to start from the beginning to make your hand dirty so you can so you can start writing the smart contract as quick as you can okay so with that if you're new to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot and do let me know what you think about this entire playlist and what's your question you have with that let's move to the next video